No tea, no wine, no shade. It's my two cents. Now sit. If you look at her, she do about 12 things a day before the day is over. Her husband don't really do too much. He's one of those guys who make the most money. In the relationship, he pays for everything. He don't feel like he have to do too much with his kids that he helped me and want them there. So, that was our storyline all until Giselle brings in the story um, that Candace is hanging out with a known enemy of Monique's now. So once Giselle brought in that, that shifted the whole season to be about Monique and Candace. And it was like, I know from Candace, it was like, thank you, Giselle. You gave me something. You gave me a story. So that's Monique. I love Monique. Monique got the, the parrot, T'Challa, and I think everybody want to see T'Challa too. Even if they don't want to see Monique no more, they still want to see T'Challa. So again, she has stories, inside stories, inside stories. And she's what we want to see. Last but not least, and before I talk about Miss Candace, I'm going to take a sip. Miss Candace, last but not least, Candace came in season three, I believe. And she was a pageant girl, just like Ashley. And um, she was like 30, 31. And she is also married to an older man. And he is white. And y'all know Candace Black. So she has that um, sort of similarity to Ashley. So you would think that they would get along, the two black girls that are married to white men. Uh, but no, they do not get along at all. Um, and none of the seasons, like I said, Ashley was very volatile and verbal and outspoken the way she talked to a lot of the ladies um, before she had little Dean, but Candace was always worse. And I don't, I'm, I have to say this because everybody else been saying this, no Monique hitting Candace and no one hitting anyone or putting their hands on anyone is warranted. Not, like, let's stop saying that, okay, you know it wasn't warranted. Okay, you know it wasn't warranted. Okay, Andy, we know it wasn't warranted. But she did it, and she hit it back. Okay, whether it was warranted or not, it happened. Okay, we don't have to keep saying was it warranted. We, you never did that with Portia in Kenya on Real Housewives of Atlanta, Andy. I feel like, Andy, okay, so now I'm finished talking about all the girls. Now I'm talking about Andy. I feel like Andy, you know, was upset that Monique was not crying as much as Candace was crying. Or he was upset that Monique was not showing as much as of emotion as Candace was. And like Monique said on Twitter, she's not that good of an actor, okay? So she sing and rap <laughs> drag queens. Check that out. So Candace is upset with Monique about the way Monique handled the situation on social media. Let's just say Monique has no control over social media. All she can control is like, retweet, repost, and a comment. That is all she can control on Twitter. Trust me, I mean, President Trump don't even have that much control over Twitter. So I felt like Candace dragging this issue for this long to get to the reunion to say that, you know, she, she kept saying, Monique, lie, you know it's lie, and you let everybody say this about me, and you know it was a lie. How did she let anybody say anything about you? You know people on social media are going to say anything, whether you said it or not, whether they make it up or not. So Monique has no control over saying, oh, y'all need to stop talking about her. Y'all know I beat her up. Y'all stop it. So just because she put a like, that don't mean that you should cry. And again, it was not warranted. We know that. But I feel like Candace had just got hit upside her head by her mother's pocketbook last season. So she say, so after getting that hit and then getting hit like this, maybe it did build a lot of anxiety. Now, I'm pretty sure they was on Twitter like, you still getting beat up by your mother, da 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 da. That didn't hurt you. But if your mother would have put one like 
next to something like kids need to stay in their place kids need to not disrespect their parents no matter how old they are and your mother put a light next to that would you have cried and went to therapy over that I'm just saying so reunion episode one they started out with Wendy um, to get that out the way and Giselle to get that out the way and when it got to Giselle <laughs> yes Monique has a whole notebook okay she has a whole notebook on Mr. Pastor Jamal Bryant and a lot of them but she didn't even have to use it the only person she used that notebook on was Giselle so and I feel like she used it on Giselle because Giselle bought notes to their Whoever had that event, Giselle bought notes to so she can remind Monique of the events where she had almost attacked somebody or gotten into an argument with someone. So, season, I mean, reunion episode three, they brought the husbands in and Chris, the husband of Monique, because both of them have husbands named Chris. Candace has a husband named Chris and Monique has a husband named Chris. That plays football that played football Candace husband Chris is a chef so um, Chris Monique husband was really upset now all this time I'm talking about Monique's storyline I did not I said she had issues with um, her husband not really doing too much about the house and now she got the bird but what I didn't talk about was what they did not want to bring up on the show now here's where it gets a little tricky. So, Giselle brought up the rumor on the show that Monique was running around town with her trainer and her husband found out about it. So they had to like fire the trainer and stuff and that's just, yeah, she was the only person that I heard say that. She didn't say too much. Uh, we didn't hear her say that the baby that Monique just had about a year ago was some, supposedly going around Potomac that that's not Chris' baby. So I, that was a shocker to me at the reunion. Like Andy said, if, if Chris Samuels did not bring up the fact that the baby wasn't his, we would not have known about it, Andy. We would not have known about it. But we did know about her cheating with a trainer last year when we saw her pregnant last year. So we're not stupid. We know if you're cheating with a trainer while you're pregnant or cheating with a, cheating with a trainer and then you get pregnant, we're not stupid. Something happened. How was she just cheating and the child just had a baby? So how was she cheating all around town? And she just dropped the load. So it was said on the, on the show, Andy, you just made sure them cameras did not air it and edit it in 2020, where we are now in the movement. If we would not have been in the movement, guys, I think they would have aired that. That is show. That is T, wine, and shade. But... They didn't air it and they tried to tell Monique like it wasn't on the show, it wasn't on the show. Basically, don't say that part because we never told everybody that part. We we let her say it. We recorded her saying it, but we told them not to not to play it. But we all know if you didn't play it, you might play it next season for a review. Y'all saving it. It's a recording that you said that was not there, but it was. So I mean, at the end of the last reunion, I like to say out of the husbands, Ray um, proposed again to Cameron. They're going to have a 25-year um, renewal of their vows. Wendy is going to come back. Um, Wendy was very stale this reunion. I feel like Wendy, Robin, and Giselle, and Candace, but I don't think they told Candace, but they had a pact to not give Monique no energy, no laughs, no nothing. It was a boring reunion. When I say Chris Samuels was the only one that hyped it up, that was the only person that hyped it up and he was the last 20, 30 minutes of the show. 
So, it was boring because I feel like they had a plan not to engage too much into what Monique, like I felt like all of them thought they had a fight with Monique. That's not fair. She never did anything to any of you. You guys are that mad at her on how she beat someone else up for being in her face. Scared a little, but if they don't want to film with her, because I heard that Candace did not want to film with Monique. If you don't want to film with Monique, Candace, please find another show. Um, you have your singing career going. You just got your record deal. You can do that because if all of you guys can't come back together, Candace and Robin, Giselle, we're, it's time for new Real Housewives of Potomac. Other show, Real Housewives of Atlanta, I mean, after the first season, they were dropping flies and, and everybody got dropped. Every season, it was a mix up and, and something new too. We have a whole cast on that show that did not start. That's a whole nother video. So guys, make sure you leave your comments below. Um, subscribe to Missy Rich Scene TV if you like the way I get my reviews, if you like what I say and how, you know, I'm able to let it all out. Make sure you leave it in the comments below. Tell me if you want more, guys. Leave y'all comments on who you guys think should return for season six and if they should get some new faces. You know, preferably me. I'm right down the street. But <laughs> leave it in the comments below, guys. And again, this is Miss Yaya, and I'll see you in episode two. This is season two of My Two Cents in a Sip. These are the reality reviews. I'm gonna take my sip. No tea, no wine, no shade. It's my two cents. Now I'm sick.